Hello guys, welcome back and welcome if you're new. My name is Sophie and today we're gonna be watching uh, some more of uh, Stranger Things Season 2, Chapter 3, The Polywalk. So without further ado, let's dive into this reaction. What did you find in that trash can, Dustin? Dusty! Dusty. <laughs> that kind of looks like the thing that will throw up. Why do I feel like this is a baby demogorgon? Dustin, have you learned anything from, uh, from the previous season? Like, that screams upside down creature, just saying. I know that this is for you, a scientific discovery, but... That screams danger. You're pretty cute, you know that? that, that I'm glad I found you. <laughs> cute, he said. I'm gonna call you D'Artagnan. Look at him, he's excited, but still. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ugh, oh, Dustin. You know Hopper, you can trust Hopper, Al. Yeah. Not still not sure how uh, he he knew or we'll find out that she was out in the woods. That's it, huh? We're still not talking. I guess I'm just gonna have to uh enjoy this triple decker ego extravaganza on my own. Oh wow. Mmm. Good right. Oh, Hopper. You visited him again last night? Oh, he knows about that. You're gonna see him soon. I feel like I'm making progress with these people. How? When is soon. Soon is when it's not dangerous anymore. When? I don't know. It's something he can say. So you know, Hopper, just don't say soon and you save yourself the trouble. Friends, don't lie. A teenager that has telekinesis blood is Hopper. I don't envy you. You have a very hard job to do. But I do feel for 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 Elle. She's been isolated for a year, so it's gonna be hard on her too. But she knows the danger. Like, can you take Will to school today? I cannot be late again. Are you staying over now? Can you just take Will, please? I can take him. What do you say, big guy? You want to go for a ride in the Bob Mobile? <laughs> <laughs> Bob Mobile. See that Jonathan doesn't like Bob that much. Is that a cute anything? smile. You know of the his. Rules. Five at a time. Are you shitting me? Excuse me? What the hell is that? Oh my god. <laughs> I'll tell you about Mr. Baldo. <laughs> hey, kiddo, would you like a balloon? Go ahead, laugh. It's funny. It wasn't funny back then, I can tell you that. Every night, he would come to me in my dreams. And then one day, the nightmare suddenly stopped. Well, I fell asleep, and just like always, Mr. Baldo came to me. Only this time, I didn't run. I just looked at Mr. Baldo and his stupid face, and I said, go away. Go away! Just like that, he was gone. I don't know. <laughs> Under any normal circumstances, Bob would be 100% correct. And that advice would be 100% helpful. But yeah, the thing is, Bob doesn't know the genre he's living in. <laughs> it's gonna take more than, you know, yelling away. His injury resulted in a complete change to his personality. So much so that friends Max, that knew him- Max, leave well alone, please. He has enough in his plate. Case. So Max is one of the group now? Oh my god. He brought it to the school. Alright, this. This is music. You got me so excited. He's trying to get her to open up. Oh, I love him. Alright, good work. <laughs> Number one, 
always keep the curtains drawn. She's determined to break in the rules. And rule number three, don't ever go out alone, especially not in the daylight. Round daylight. <laughs> Harper is gonna be so mad, Al. You could have at least waited for it to get dark. Oh, we still have a lot of talking to do. Where were you this morning? I missed first period. Figured Jonathan would take you. So he knows that Jonathan took her home last night. That means he kept an eye on her, didn't just leave. Because it was like in the last episode, Steve, I know you're hurt, but you don't leave your drunk girlfriend alone. You remember mm. going to Tina's party last night, right? I remember dancing and spilling some punch. Do you remember the bullshit part? He me because I was drunk, and then he took me home. No, yeah, see, that's where your mind gets a little bit fuzzy. That was your other boyfriend. That was, that was Jonathan. Oh, yeah, I, also, you don't love me. I was drunk, Steve. I don't remember any of that. Nancy, the alcohol just allowed you to convey your true feelings. Just saying. He has every right to be mad. Well, I agree, him leaving her was not a cool move, even though since he knew that Jonathan took her home, so he probably was keeping an eye on her. But a drunken man's word is a sober thought. So Nancy was in fact saying what she felt in that moment. Then tell me. Tell you what? You love me. Do you love him? Really? Heretic! Do we need no, you, she's, a, she's not in love. I feel like she's in love with Jonathan. Mm, she just doesn't want to admit it to herself, you know. His name is oh, Jack well. Canyon. Oh, he's such a... Ah! Well, can you tell? Cute, right? D'Artagnan? Definitely short, not! Short. You want to hold him? No. No, no like, absolutely not. Oh, God, he's slimy. Oh, and he's... Like Slimy? The upside down! Come on! Oh, it doesn't like light. I'm telling you, baby demogorg. So if he's not a polywog or a reptile, then I've discovered a new species. Sweetie, I know that is this is exciting, but yes, well, yes, I knew it. It's the same. Oh my god. Yes. Well, tell them, tell them, tell them, please tell them, please. Well, he's not gonna tell them. But Max is right there, so he can't you know, say anything. I'm calling it Gastonius polywagus. What do you think? I think you're. He's so excited for having discovered a new species that he can't see, see the danger in it. Well, the fact that that thing was inside. Well, oh my god. You so much. Not just you. Everything that comes with you. Your family, your boys. With Will, I don't know. I feel like we're connecting. He likes you too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no, I definitely yeah. likes him, but Jonathan, <laughs> I don't know. Is it because of his dad? I struggled a lot like Will when I was a kid, bullies. It's the ones like us that don't punch back, that people really take advantage of. You know, they rub your nose in it just a little bit more. Definitely you're right that. about this. Look at me now. I get to date Joyce Byers. Ha! Huh. I get to date. I get to date. <laughs> I, get to date. <laughs> I love him. Oh, uh, now I'm not sure. Uh, Harper or Bob? <laughs> but I do feel like he's way more into her than she's into him. Whatever is happening is spreading from this place, from this lab. That's impossible. You and your egghead friends go out there to every area on this map and you run your tests and you see if anything comes up. <laughs> All right, so. Yes, convince him. I keep things nice and quiet for you. Mm -hmm. And you keep your shit out of my town. That is the deal. I... Convince me. <laughs> Hopper! Oh my god, my man! People say stupid things when they're wasted, you know, things they don't mean. But that's the thing. She meant what if it. I did mean it? All this time, I've, I've been trying so hard to pretend like everything's fine, but it's not. Putting um, her feelings toward everything that happens with Barbara's side, she's not into Steve. You, you, you can say that. Maybe things just can't go back to the way they were. Doesn't that make you mad? Those people who did this ruined so many lives. They, they just get away with it. Of course, awesome. Definitely, yeah. Uh, oh. <sighs> 
Oh, please don't any don't let anyone see you, please. She died of a fever when I was just three months old. I do wish she'd lived long enough for me to remember calling her mother. I think it would be so sweet to say mother. He's reading her a book? Yeah, of course you have a mother. Where is she? Don't tell her she died. Hopper, you know that's not true. She's gonna be so mad at him if she finds out. Where is school? The school, it's uh it's about a mile that way. Where are your parents? Look, mommy, look. Ow. Don't tell me this woman's gonna you know contact authorities or something, no. Watch it, zombie boy. Trick or treat, freak. Boo. The monster that he's turned upside down. Holy shit! It captured it. The fact that the VHS was somehow able to to capture something from the frequency of a different universe entirely. It was only affecting well. Nobody saw it, and yet the camera caught it too. What the hell? But thank God, at least he know that he's not crazy. I love Joyce. Always with the big discoveries. Go show us your car. What? What? Tell him, me. tell him, tell him, yeah, yes. tell him well, the tell him, I was please. Late for class. Yes. What do you mean? Now, this very well may change your perception of the world. He's gonna show it to the. Am I interested? To... All right, first, let's just clarify. No! Uh, no, please don't. Uh, that's in... Not yours. Don't get him into this. Just show me. All right, I'm just trying to. <laughs> okay, fine. Stop! I'm really sorry, Mr. Clark. It was just a stupid prank. What the hell are yes, you doing? Stop. We need to go. My mom said I would take care of you. Dustin. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Holy shit. Did it got bigger? Yeah, it got bigger. It changed color too, right? <gasps> Are you sure about this? No. What? Nancy was carrying me. Hello, Marcia speaking. Right, is she gonna tell no. Barb's parents? Hello? I need to tell you something. Something about Barb. About that night, I... Nancy... She's risking everyone's lives like this. Like, I, I get it, understand, but... It's too risky. I, I can't tell you here, on the phone. Meet me tomorrow, Forest Hills Park, 9 a.m. Don't tell anyone. And, and don't call me back here. Well, you were right about these pumpkins. Some nasty stuff. And you want me to tell people? I'm sure you'll figure something out. Hey, Chief, you A lake. Yeah. You remember that Some Russian kind. girl Murray was going on about the other day? Yeah, what now? Oh my god, Elle. Stay where you are. Do not move. Oh my god. L L L L L. God damn it. Mike Spike. Where'd you go, you little bastard? <laughs> oh my god. Why do you hate me so much? I don't hate you. How can I hate you? I don't even know you. Yeah, but you don't want me in your party? Correct. Why also, not? we don't need another party member. I'm a Paladin. Will's our cleric. He doesn't want anyone to replace Eleven in the party. Oh. Elle's our mage. Elle? Who's Elle? Someone. I don't see any tricks. You're just going around in a circle. If it's so easy, you can try it. I think no. if I spend like all day Oh my god. <laughs> Poor thing. I'll just experience jealousy for the first time, but she doesn't know how to deal with it. <laughs> the irony is that by knocking Max out of her board, Eleven caused Mike to show concern. 
a niceness towards Max for the very first time. <laughs> well, please get away from that thing. Please, please. Oh my God, I'm terrified. I'm totally terrified. Do they have like a connection since it, it was literally inside him? No, oh, don't tell me another episode. Ugh, oh, poor well. Well, that's new. What the hell? Is it the shadow monster? Well, uh, you know I won't hurt you. Dustin, don't you dare take it home. Stay low. Keep quiet. Where's Dark? I don't know. Not here. What? He said back tomorrow. Where is Will? Dustin, uh, it's so frustrating. This time, I didn't run. I don't know. No, 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 no. I'm telling you, buddy, run. No, 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 no. Sweetie, sweetie, no, no, no. Oh my God, Bob. Go away. Run, please. Run, run, run. Well, 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 well. Oh my god. You know what? The sad part of it is that if this had literally been any other situation, Bob's advice would have worked. But we're dealing with supernatural shenanigans. Oh my god. Poor well, like, I was hoping that he's gonna, you know, have a break this season because he went through so much in the last one. But no, eh? it's gonna be even worse for him. 11 this episode, oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, her face when she saw Mike helping Max up was heart-wrenching. I honestly feel terrible for the three of them. For Elle because she thinks that she's been replaced in Mike's life. For Mike because he misses Elle so badly. You can tell in his gut feeling that he, like, he, he believes that she's alive, but he can't do anything about it, he can't find her, everyone believes that she's dead, so poor Mike, and poor Max as well, she just, does, she just wants to fit in and have friends, but the thing is that in last season we saw Lucas not wanting Elle in the party because like he thought she was weird and uh, annoying and unnecessary, and now Mike's seemingly feeling the same way about Max, which is, yeah. <laughs> Dustin and Luke's adore her, well is indifferent, and Mike wishes she would go away. <laughs> Interesting little dynamic. Yeah, I love the episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and see you in the next video.